So here is my version of the final standalone wiring harness that didn't cost anything to create. We got to keep the horn in for security, the one that goes by the windshield wipers. Got the connector for the rad fans, which is over there. I left that intact. That's the ambient pressure, I mean ambient temperature sensor for outside temperature. Still have two fuse boxes, OBD2 connector. More relays than I need, but I didn't use a wiring diagram or any internet to help me do this, so I left a bunch of them intact. That's the connector that goes to the pressure switch for the hydraulic pressure on the clutch. ECU, throttle pedal, reluctor or inductor wire that goes to the coil around the key for this security system. Ignition wires, cluster, I saved that connector which goes to the cruise control switch. Two ground wires over there which would be in the interior. Two ground wires over there which would be the interior. The red wire I ran to ground on the motor. I kept the ABS system all intact. There's one of the wires. There's another one there. And just in case I need that to get the speedometer working, which I'm sure I do. My sensor for reading coolant level. The rest of the wires that came out of here went to the front right, front right corner of the car. I snipped them all off. I snipped off the other wires over there that went to the front, front right corner. The wires that go to the gas tank or diesel tank, these stupid exhaust things, and all the other wires on the engine are just the way they were on the factory. I didn't touch anything on the engine wiring, just hooked all up the way the emissions are supposed to be. So let's give her one final test and hope I can pack all that stuff in a caravan. She's alive. Revs were good. Success. I didn't have anything go wrong. Didn't skip one wrong wire. Nothing. It just all worked. And there's 10 pounds of wires and connectors left over. Sweet.